Hello Python programmers, so I am back with another Python pattern video for you and in this video we are gonna create this, uh, oh no, this pattern. Okay, so in the previous videos we have created the star pattern using the star key. We have created different pattern from that whether it was the pyramid, half pyramid, full pyramid or diamond shape, half or full. Then after that we have seen the number pyramid, half and full. And now the turn is for our character pyramid. Okay, so in our previous video, in our one of the previous video, we have created a number pattern which looks somewhat like this. So there you can see there isn't much difference in this pattern and this pattern. The only difference is that this is number and this is character. So the logic will be almost same, but there will be only one difference. Okay, so if you want to watch the video in which I have created this one, the link will be provided below. You can watch from there. Okay, so now let's quickly jump to our editor to write our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So first of all, for all those who are new here, who are new to Python, who are new to programming and who don't know that what range function are, what are for loop, what are while loop, then you don't need to worry because I'll try to explain each and every line of this code. Although I cannot press too much on every point because this will extend the length of the video and it will also piss off some of the students that already know these basics. Okay, so if you understand the basics from this video, well and good. If not, if you have even the slightest doubt of what these basic fundamentals are, then the link of each fundamentals like what is function, loops, everything will be provided in the playlist whose link will be provided in the description as well as in the i button. Okay, so let's quickly jump off. So our first task is to create the variable which will store the number of steps that we want to create. So there you can see in this, let me close this one because this is going to confuse me. So there you can see in this uh, pattern, we are having seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So let's create a variable and store the value seven in that. Okay. Uh, just a second. Now let's create a num variable and write 65 in that. Now you must be wondering that why are we writing 65 here? Because there are ASCII values related to each alphabets. Like 65 number represents the ASCII value of A, 66 of B, 67 of C and so on. So we are going to use the ASCII value and then convert them into characters. So I'll show you how this will happen. Just as, so just stay with me. So for i in range, just wait for a second. Let me write, then I'll explain you each and every step. So first of all, we'll create our first for loop, which will go from 0 to n. Okay. So what is a for loop? For loop is a loop which will iterate through the sequence provided here. Okay. So first let me explain the range function. So range function gives the output as a list with the starting value as this which is 0 here and the ending value as this which is n here. However, we are also having a third parameter which is the difference between the consecutive numbers but we want it to be 1. We can either write 1 here or we can simply leave that because the 1 is the default values. Okay, so this range function will create a list. Now, you don't need to write this because I am writing this to explain you. So, the list created will be uh, this one. Okay. This range function will create this list item which starts from 0 and goes to 7 but the last value is not included. This is how the range function works. Starting value is included and the last value is excluded. Okay. So, now what will happen is this range function, uh, sorry, this for loop will iterate through this uh, list. It will first choose this value, then complete the commands written here, then come again, take this value, 
then again two value complete the command three value complete the command four value complete the command this is how the for loop will work okay so let me write the second for loop and then i'll explain you that why are we writing these for loop and how our pattern will be created okay for j in range this will go from 0 to i plus 1 now you must be wondering that in the first video i have created this similar pattern of number by not including this for loop that was the first video and my intention was not to confuse you with a lot of loops so that is why i have included just one for loop and left the upper part the this first part of of our pattern and after that the pattern was created okay but now you know how for loop works you know how range function works so you will be comfortable with this uh, program now okay now first let me write then i'll explain you that how the second for loop is working okay so we want to print the num actually we have to first uh, change the number to character okay so let's create a cr variable and then we we are going to change this uh, number to character as i've already told you this chr of this number as parameter function will transform this number into character let me show in the command prompt so you can clearly understand this okay so if i write cr of uh, let's say 65 then it is a if i write cr of let's say uh, 69 then e okay so this is how we are gonna increment the uh, characters we are gonna use the ascii value of them so then after each character we want some space so what we'll do is we'll create a n variable and add some space here there you can see after each character we are having some space because we don't want to create a mess here if they are joined together there will be a lot of mess created and this won't look beautiful although you can include or exclude this space it's all dependent on you okay okay so now let me increment the number variable now we are doing this because we want to move from the uh, a alphabet to the b alphabet to the c d e f this is why we'll increment the number here so that it is changed into the corresponding character and that is printed okay so now our next task is actually this won't be aligned with this uh, for loop it will be for this for loop just wait for a second i'll explain you after each uh, line we want to add some space okay so let me save this and run and show you and we are getting an error because this is invalid syntax for i in range it should be okay let's run this and there you can see that our uh, actually this should be chr we we don't want to print the number we want to print the character okay no sublime text we don't want to buy you uh, because this is not the character this is the ch variable okay so there you can see that our pattern has been printed so let's go back to our program and understand that what is the flow of execution or how this program is running okay so first let's get to our first for loop there i have explained you that this range function has created this list and this for loop is iterating through this list so first the value of i becomes zero okay so then in this for loop for j in range the list created by this range function will be from zero to zero plus one which is one so only one character will be present inside okay so only one character will be present inside which means that this for loop will run only once okay so this a will be printed because we want to print a here single then we are then we have created a ch variable in which the converted character of this num i have shown you how you can get the characters from their ascii values we have stored that 
character and then we are printing our ch variable having that character we are also having su- some space so that it looks more presentable then after each this for loop right after this for j in range we want to increment the number because we want the character to be changed after each line not after each unit after each unit one we will discuss in the next video in this video we are we are discussing how we can change after each line so after this for loop we are going to write this here okay so now the num is incremented by 1 and we are writing some space here now if you want to add an extra line in between you can write backslash r here and then run this and there you can see an extra line has been added okay so these are some customization that you can do according to yourself now once again this for loop will run the value selected will be 1 then the i value becomes 1 and this uh, range function will create a list of 0 and 1 because the range function has the value from 0 to 2 i plus 1 1 plus 1 2 and this j j for loop will run twice and then b will be printed because we know that the num value has been incremented to 66 here okay so this will happen 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 until we we'll, we reach this seven number because this for loop was only having six seven values okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have explained you in depth that how we can create this character pattern using python okay so for all those beginners who are still confused that how these functions and loop are running the link will be provided in the description go through that playlist and watch those videos that will help you a lot okay so i'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye